I'm going to show you three ways that you can use emojis within your mini chat flows to engage with your mini chat subscribers. I'm going to show you that now. All right, uh, let's get started and rocking and rolling on some emojis. So you can use emojis as responses within ManyChat and then direct people to whatever flow or whatever action you want them to take based on the emoji they either entered or within a button. So let's get started in so you're going to create a new flow, emoji two. And you're going to go to the flow builder and you're going to have a message. So you're going to start out with this message and we're going to get rid of the text message and we're going to grab a user input field. Now you do need a pro version to do this. Um, to use this the user input. Now you could do it without the pro version using the text message and then the quick replies and then you'd have to save the last text input to the custom field. So you can do it. Uh, I found that it was a little easier to do it with an user input block. Uh, you do need the pro version to do this. So what you do is you change this to multiple choice uh, you're going to have no skip button and we're going to allow free text input so they can actually put an emoji in. Now I did create a field. You just create a text field called it E underscore, whoops, E underscore emoji. And you can just create a text field. So if you type in, let's say I call this two, you'd say new field and then you would do text. Okay. I'm not going to create that because I already have one. I'm just going to use my field I already have. So basically, you're going to have multiple choice reply type and the user input block, allow free texting uh, text input, and then pick your custom field you're going to save it to. Next, we're going to build the message. I'm just going to copy this message from here. It's much easier. So what we're going to do is going to say, hey, Jeff, how are you doing today? Yeah, make that a small h. Uh, smiley face is happy, sad, and mad. <laughs> and then just tap a button below to how you feel. How you feel. Okay. And then you're going to add some quick replies. And so all you do is don't take the emoji from here. Don't take it from here. It doesn't work for some reason. <laughs> Um, in the quick replies, do the emoji from here. And I'm going to grab a smiley. And then I'm going to grab, let's say we got sad. So we're going to grab the sad. These are the same ones that I used in, in the text message. So now I, I know they're going to match up. And then you're going to grab, you're going to point there. You're going to do the mad one. All right. And then... Now, the only thing is they don't show up on desktop in the buttons very well. I'm not sure why, what happened. I don't know if it's just my computer <laughs> or why one of the times Chrome, I mean, when I'm searching for them, they don't come up very well either. I, I don't know. All of a sudden, the emojis just don't like this. They don't even show up very well in here. Um, even in, So I don't know if it's Chrome or what. But. So next, what you're going to do is you're going to do continue down and below, continue the next step. And then I'm just going to do it this way. We're going to bounce out to a condition. And what we're going to do is we're going to check that condition. And we're going to check for emoji, e emoji is. And then we're going to go into the emojis and we're going to say smiley face. So all we're going to do is check the field to see if it's one of the buttons and what they pushed. If it's no, you're gonna to go to another condition 
and you're gonna again you're gonna go to the field that you save in the emoji in and we're going to say sad and then we're gonna say nope it's not that so we're gonna do another condition and we're gonna go to emoji is mad all right and then what you're going to do if it's yes you're going to send a message glad you're happy uh, we're going to go to here Sorry to hear your sad stuff. And then if it's yes, press mad. Why are you mad? Jeff. And we'll put a question mark there. There we go. And then if it's none of them, and let's say they typed in a different one. Hmm. Not sure how you're feeling based on your emoji. And we're going to publish that. Now we're all set. We have all. And so we can test it. I'm just going to publish it again. Test it. Go over to Messenger. There we go. And see, this is what I'm saying is they don't come up very well. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know why they do that. But if we put it in the happy one, I'm glad you're happy. And so we're going to fire it off again. And now I can actually go pick one. Um, if I say I pick a, a different one that's not in there. Sorry, Jeff, this is not one of the choices. Um, oh, I'm running, <laughs> I'm running my program versus the one I just did. All right. Because what I did there is... What I did is I grabbed their choice. So let's do that. I'm going to go change this message here. Not sure how you feel. Right, so I'm just going to publish that one. And then this is the one that I actually did with you guys. So I'm just going to, it's the same thing. So I'm going to push mad. Are you mad, Jeff? And then we can run it again. And I could pick an emoji. I probably should have picked that one. Jeff, this is not one of the choices. Not sure how you feel today. So you could actually, now that, that emoji, you could go out here and let's see, the mad one. Why are you mad? So you could add another one. You could say any condition um, emoji is, and you should be able to find the, see, I don't think the orange face one, actually what I'm going to do, if I can copy this. No, it says delete. Copy? No. Yeah, I don't see. Uh, here's here it is right there. So let's see if that's the same one. So I said of any of these. So let me move that. Let me publish this. And so if I pick that one, angry one, that orange one, see if that's the same one. I'm not sure if it is or not. Oh, yeah, look at that. That is the one. So we did it a double like that. So you can do that. So anyway, 
um, just gives you an option, uh, an opportunity to do something fun. Uh, you could do that in any of your um, flows, have some fun with it, have them answer with different emojis, and you could do that. And now the other thing I wanted to show you is you could do it with keywords too. So I have a keyword set up as um, a the guy with the shades. So if I entered the guy with the shades, I should get, there we go. So we get the um, flow that I connected to that a keyword. And so all you do is you do new rule and then you need to get the emoji. So let's see. One way would be is to do it this way. Uh, when you're doing a, actually let's go in here. So I'm gonna go down. It's an emoji. Um, which one was the sunglasses? Actually, let's do the hearts. Then you could copy it, just drag over it and copy. And come back and post it. And it's not going to show, I mean, at least in mine, it don't. I'd be curious, you guys, mess, give me a comment down below if yours show up on your browser and if there's a way to fix that. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to get rid of this and publish that. And now I'm going to create the keyword and I'm going to select an existing row. Oh, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna fire this off. I'm gonna fire our other one off that we just created with the heart. So now I have it set up, and now I could go out here and grab the heart, send. There you go. Tap and, and how you feel. That was a message that we were playing around with. So now I'm gonna just say mad. <coughs> Why are you mad? So there you go. It's the way, uh, obviously, you can create keywords and so that people could come back and say, hey, just put in this uh, emoji and we'll fire off that that flow for you. All right. And then a third way you can actually use the emojis within Minichat and have some fun, again, uh, with quick replies. It only works on a phone. It doesn't work on a desktop. So I'm going to go out here and we're going to go to another flow. And start to work on, I say, just test out emojis. What you're going to do is add a quick reply right here. So you're going to have a text block, test message block, and then a quick reply here. And you're going to pick the emojis here, not up here. And we're going to pick a balloon. And then we're going to come out here. And just for testing purposes, I'm just going to string these along. Test emoji two. I'm gonna do a quick reply here and quick pick a heart. And any any color heart would work. And then I'm going to go out here and go another message. Test emoji three. And here we're going to pick a snowflake. And then I'm gonna connect this one to there. All right. All right, so I'm gonna publish that and then we're gonna play around with this here in a second. Let me see here. There we go. I have to unlock my phone. And what's going on here? All right, there we go. And let's preview that. Come up. Like I said, it only works on the phone. So we're going to test this emoji out with the balloons. And then you get a burst of balloons, which is really cool. Uh, and the hearts, and you can use any color heart. You're going to push the heart. And you get a burst of hearts. So you could use it as, you know, hey, your prize is behind the button below. Or something like that. Or just a cool, cool thing to show them. And then the snowflakes, they drop down from the sky. 
So isn't that cool? Well, that concludes our video for today on three ways to use using emojis within your mini chat flows to engage your mini chat subscribers. The first way was in a regular flow and asking a question and having them enter a emoji as the answer and then using the conditions and directing them from different flows or different messages after they answer. The second way was just to use them as a keyword. So you can use them to re-engage and have them enter a emoji to fire off a previous flow or a new flow. And the third way is, is to embed them in quick replies as far as the balloon, the heart, and the snowflake, and then get a special effect on a phone when they push that quick reply. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below, happy to answer them. And as always, like the video, share it across the world, and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. Click the little bell so that you get notification when the new video is uploaded. Down in the description, I do have a link to a great group, Facebook group, all like-minded people sharing great ideas. Come on and join us. Happy to have you. And as always, enjoy the week, and I'll see you in the next video.